Hello. How are you doing? Yes. Uh, those of you who have followed me long enough, those few of you anyway, um, know that I have been really, uh, really critical of uh, MMA in the past, and I still am, more or less. I don't like uh, that style of fighting. I mean, uh, yeah, style itself I find unappealing and uh, dirty, and also the fact that one can uh, keep uh, that one can hit a fighter once he's already down and out. That's also something I think is barbaric, but uh, I do understand why uh, MMA and especially UFC ha ha have has done so well in the last 10 to 10-15 years or something, especially in the last 9 or 10 years I'd say because uh, uh, sadly boxing has uh, of course not always been so entertaining and uh, there is one big advantage that MMA holds over boxing uh, and that is that once you are in there in that cage you just cannot run you know you cannot run. I mean, you can try to avoid uh, <laughs> avoid uh, fighting or exchanging too much, but that will work against you. And uh, while boxing has a bit different judging criteria, you know, a fighter can get a, a fight uh, from the judges if he avoids. Ex exchanges you know and uh, just boxes and moves and runs away more or less that's not really good that's something I never liked about boxing you know it and so <laughs> that's the big difference obviously in MMA you have to fight you have to engage and very often there is a uh, a knockout or a submission and uh, in boxing you know there has been a, I blame mostly American fighters for that and the establishment of course there has been a, more more and more fighters um, from USA in the recent years who you know, uh, just wanted to get successful, to get rich, without really risking too much in the ring, you know, without, you know, really fighting, you know, and uh, of course, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather Jr. is the most famous of those he has made, that's really, you know, I think a, a real shame for the sport. This guy has made much more money than any fighter has ever, any boxer has made and will make. I don't see anyone else again being able to make so much money. And why? Because uh, sadly it was a more, especially in the last six or seven years of his career it was more about you know what he did outside the ring than inside the ring that that brought him that big money and you know he always was able to talk talk a fight up you know and, uh, as Bob Aram said you know he conned the people and that's what he did yeah and you know while we are on Bob Arum, 
He was the one that knew what would happen if Pacquiao fought Mayweather. Because everyone was screaming, demanding to see that fight, but it was it showed that he was right, of course. Uh, in that interview he did in 2009, with, yeah, so uh, he said he doesn't engage, he doesn't fight, you know, he's, he just thinks his opponent out, and that's what he, he does, of course, but he's not the only one, unfortunately, we also have fighters like, uh, for instance, uh, Devon Alexander uh, and uh, yeah to a to a lesser degree perhaps Isha Smith and uh, well Timothy Bradley I wouldn't really put him in that category it wouldn't be fair uh, because he's been in some hard fights but there are you know definitely I mean uh I must say most of those fighters are actually African American, which is very, really, very ironic since they used to be, you know, those great action fighters, especially back in those days, the old days when they had to, like, you know, very often win by a knockout to get, a, you know, to get the fight, to win the fight, and. They had to fight to get out of poverty, you know, but then since they became, you know, kingpins of professional boxing, they kind of lost that fire, that uh, desire for, to fight, and it just became more about, you know, just getting uh, out working their opponents and just getting that, that win. I'm not going to call it a victory because that would be too, you know, grand. But it was just about getting that win, you know, just doing just enough to win. And, uh, you know, people don't really, when most true, true fight fans don't want to see such fighters in the ring. Fighters who will not risk anything, you know, they're just thinking about their, you know, their, her, record staying uh, as good as possible and while well, getting as much money as possible you know and uh, you know so it's really sad so there have been many who just were after you know to put it perhaps uh, brutally easy money you know uh, to get the money and and uh, the wins but not having to risk really that much in the ring you know if they were good technically you know def defensively then that was it you know they weren't going to get out there and, and mix it up and slug it out or take chances and try to score a knockout or something you know no 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 way <laughs> And when, when they did score a knockout, it was uh, most often either because uh, they had just had some luck or they landed a lucky punch or their opponent just wasn't that good or didn't have a really good chin. So again, uh, in MMA, again, I'm going to quote Bob Aaron. Fighters don't really have such good chins as the boxers, that's true. But sometimes I wish it was not because <laughs> I've seen, I've suffered myself through some really boring fights, you know, and they just couldn't end until the final bell because both guys uh, had a good chin or, you know, the better guy just didn't have the power, you know, so he just uh, kept pounding at him and then they would start hugging it in the last few rounds and it was just painful to watch, you know, well, 
anyway in MMA you have three rounds mostly and uh, even if the fight is dull you know it won't uh, last that long but in boxing it's 15 minutes you have to sit there for 15 minutes and just watch two guys but hug hug a lot and you know, throw <laughs> wild uh, wild punches that don't land really most of them and another thing you know I remember in the 80s I don't remember I've seen and in the 90s most fighters even heavyweight heavyweights were in really good shape you know it was really seldom that you could see some fat flabby guy you know in the ring and uh, was only the worst of the fighters that perhaps look like that but today you see more and more of that you know it's really painful sometimes to see a fighter at heavyweight of course it just looks like he should be you know in a pie eating contest and not in the boxing ring it's really painful to watch it makes you wonder like what has happened to this sport for us who love the sport and have been following it for a long time it's really really just sad you know and then you know there are the another really bad thing about boxing today the judging there have been really really many unfair decisions and bad judging especially in two countries especially i'd say usa and germany while germany has perhaps improved somewhat in that department usa has not and i don't think it will anyway anyhow yeah you see you know fighters foreign fighters or fighters who don't have such great uh, sponsorship or management getting robbed you know all the time and uh, yeah so it's really I don't know if that happens so much in MMA you know UFC in Bellator perhaps not so much I, I'd say you know that's a good thing but I just I will never be a fan of MMA of course but uh, I I understand why some people have gone over to watch MMA instead of boxing in uh, recent years or some have actually just started watching it more than boxing some just watch boxing when there's a really big fight you know on like uh, the last one i can remember is was between uh, uh, uh vladimir klitschko and anthony joshua because i know many of those guys don't really watch those lower divisions you know like featherweight or bantamweight or you know flyweight especially even though there are well quite often there are more good fights to see there than in the heavier the heavier divisions because it it's mostly asians and mexicans fight there and they you know they are usually warriors they like like a good fight they are they are willing to put up a good fight and you know, risk risk everything or almost everything in the ring and that's really good so uh, i would suggest to you that have never watched uh, a fight <laughs> below a uh, welterweight or lightweight or something to watch start watching yes uh, that was about it let's see See you all. Bye-bye.